Ah, looks like my camera is turned on. That means we are going to do something super duper fun. That's right. So first of all, welcome everyone to this brand new video on my channel. And today we are going to watch a bunch of awesome unboxing videos on this channel. So uh, Sony recently started their campaign for the PSVR. They are now promoting it a lot on the internet and YouTube. So we are going to watch a few of those videos and see what they have to say about their majestic console VR. So let's go for it. I'm going to jump on the internet, go to YouTube, and then we are going to watch some sweetness. Yes. So I'm going to the channel called PlayStation Access. They create a lot of cool uh, uh, PSVR related videos. So let's see. This is the one I want to watch. It's called PlayStation VR Unboxing. First look at everything you get. There will also be a link in the description if you want to uh, check it out yourself. So yes, let's watch it and get amazed. Hello, welcome to Access. I'm Rob and today I have a very exciting job because I get to unbox PlayStation VR. Oh man, oh man, that box is super cool. I can just see myself buying this in a store. It's just totally ready for consumers. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get straight in there. Get that box open. We've all been waiting a long time for this. So this is what the box looks like. I am so freaking hyped. Just open it already. It slides open very satisfyingly. Right on top, you have got your quick start guide, which gives you all the basic information you need to get your PlayStation VR headset all connected to your PS4 and your TV. So this is very useful. Look after this. That quick start guide is huge. Why is it so big? It could be so much smaller. First up, we have got various things you'll need to connect up your PSVR headset. We've got USB cable, we've got stereo headphones, we've got an AC power adapter, and crucially, the processor unit. Now you will need this to connect up your PSVR headset to your PS4 and your TV. As I said before, refer to the quick start guide for basic instructions on how to do that. So this unit is basically the one that runs the PlayStation VR. Without it, it's not going to work out. So it's like a little help for the PlayStation itself. Underneath that, we have got the PlayStation VR screen cleaner. Very nice to make sure your display is always nice and clean. I gotta say, they got style with that screen cleaner because it has all the buttons from the controller on there. So yes, I think this is going to be one of the best screen cleaners I have ever used in VR. Underneath that, we have got your instruction manuals and also your guarantee information, so make sure you keep those in a nice, safe place. Then we've got your HDMI cable and your PlayStation VR connection cable, which connects your PSVR headset to the processor unit. Why are we not living in a future yet where HMDs don't have that much cables? I want to go back to the future right now. And here, this is very exciting, we've got your PlayStation VR demo disc, which comes loaded with eight playable demos for PlayStation VR games. We have got Riggs Mechanized Combat League, PlayStation VR Worlds, Drive Club VR, Tumble VR, Wayward Sky, Headmaster, Eve Valkyrie, and Battlezone. Over here, we have got your AC power cord, which is very important, gets its own little box. There it is. And over here is the moment we've all been waiting for. It is the PlayStation VR headset itself. There it is. What a thing of beauty. The PSVR is kind of big, but it also looks futuristic. And I like that. It's like you bought it in the year 2020 and you took a time machine back to uh, 2016 to show it to people. Now, I know we've made absolutely loads of videos on the channel saying how amazing all PlayStation VR games are and how you've just really got to try it for yourself. Well, now you can try it for yourself. It's finally here. PlayStation VR, and there it is. So thanks very much for watching, guys. That's our unboxing of PlayStation VR. We absolutely can't wait for you to all get your hands on it on October the 13th. And to let us know what you think, finally, you will get to try this for yourselves. Wow, so that was an interesting unboxing video. It didn't really give that much information about the headset itself and the performance, stuff like that. 
But this is more like a unboxing video for casual consumers, you know. They are just trying to hype it up a little more as well on the internet. And I can totally understand that. So we are going to watch another video. This one has been uploaded on the PlayStation channel. This one over here, yes, with almost 5 million subscribers. That's a lot. Dang. So yes, where is that video I wanted to show you guys? Let's see, let's just go to videos. And then it's over here, yes. Unboxing the PlayStation VR PSVR. So yeah, in this PlayStation VR video, they are going a little bit more into what the headset is all about and the unit, stuff like that. So let's get started. PlayStation VR is out October 13th. So let's take a look at what's in the box. I know exactly how it's going to go at my place. I don't even know how to unbox it because I am way overexcited for it. I'm just like, just open it already. I need to play with it now. So the struggles are going to be real for sure. So what we're looking at here is the PlayStation VR core unit. And of course, the main event is the PlayStation VR headset. The music in the background is so hypnotizing, especially when they are like taking it out of the box. And there it is, you know, and it sounds like it came from heaven and it was a present from God himself, you know. PlayStation VR headset uses a high-end 1080p OLED screen, specifically designed for maximum response in VR. There are integrated LEDs around the headset, those used for motion sensing. Then, let's take a look here at the included inline remote. Now, the inline remote allows you to control audio settings and also uh, mute or unmute the integrated microphone. Flip it around and we have an audio output. PlayStation VR does come with a stereo headphone, but you can bring your own. Either way, this will output a 3D audio signal, which is perfect for VR. Hmm, I am not really sure about this remote. It could be hard to find when you play in VR, but I am not sure about it. I haven't tried it yet. Maybe they could have built those functions on the headset itself. It would have been way easier. But as I said before, we have to figure that out later. Moving on, we have the PlayStation VR processor unit. You'll use this to connect PlayStation VR to your TV and to your PS4. It also enables some cool features like 3D audio and the social screen experience, which allows other folks to watch or even participate in the PlayStation VR experience you're having. I am so happy that Sony has brought something to the market that allows people to play with you in VR. So the people that don't wear a PSVR can just participate and have fun together with you. So that's going to be an awesome experience. We of course have an array of cabling, HDMI cables, power cables, USB cables for connecting PlayStation VR to your PS4. It's crazy how many cables you need right now to run a PlayStation VR and also the other HMDs, of course. But what the heck, in the future, everything is going to be wireless. So for now, I just have to uh, deal with it, I guess. And also don't forget the PlayStation VR demo disc, which comes with 18 playable demos. And there's some really awesome stuff on here. Battlezone, Until Dawn Rush of Blood, Riggs Mechanized Combat League, and a whole lot more. Absolutely must play material. So wait a second, on the disc, we only got demos, not full games. Does that mean that you can still go online with Riggs and Battlezone, or can you only play it offline? That's the question. That was our quick look at what's in the box for PlayStation VR. One reminder, you do need PlayStation camera to use PlayStation VR. Whoa, wait a second, did he just say that I need to buy a PlayStation camera to be able to use the PSVR? Now that's totally normal because you need a camera to be able to use a HMD, but why isn't it in the box itself? Now people are going to buy it and they are going to hook it up at home and then they find out they need the camera as well. It could have been so much more clear if you just put it all together in one box. So I don't know, I mean, I am a little confused here. Let's keep on uh, watching. But you don't have to wait till October 13th to try it. Many retailers are offering demos. There's lots more to come to. With approximately 50 games launching by the end of 2016, the best is yet to come. So be sure to keep an eye on PlayStation Blog. PlayStation.
Ooh, we are getting 50 games and not bad at all, Sony. So yes, I am very excited about this stuff. I don't know all the games, to be honest. I know a few, but yes, I just can't wait to get my hands on this PlayStation VR. I also think you guys want to have one. So yes, that was the video. Let me know in the comments below what you think about the launch of the PlayStation VR. Let's discuss and get hyped together. And that's it. Nati signing off. And as I always say, and I see you guys next time. See you in the metaverse.